Six months of somehow eluding capture on the streets of a Cascade Township neighborhood earned Shaggy the dog national headlines. But Shaggy was eventually caught and then sent to a Detroit area uh, shelter. And that's where animal experts are hoping they can train Shaggy to become adoptable. Tonight, WZZM 13 Steve Zagman has an update on Shaggy's progress. In the shadow of a nuclear power plant in Newport, Michigan, Yep, no. Shaggy is eager for his daily exercise. <laughs> Other dogs in his new pack of friends oh, Dusty. are a little too eager. Shaggy has come a long way from the roaming dog on the loose. Completely different dog than when he was uh, out there. It was feral dog expert Melissa Borden who finally helped catch Shaggy by building trust through routine. Right now we're hand feeding. She continues that effort. We always hand feed them the first meal of the day, um, and that's just getting them to understand that we can be good. At the devoted barn. We are a rehabilitation farm for animals from extreme cruelty and neglect or feral. Feral dogs like Shaggy are often not adoptable without rehabilitation. Feral dog is a, just a wild animal. Um, think of them the same as you would think of like a deer. Even now, Shaggy isn't quite used to strangers. See there's Shaggy. And he's still to the point, he likes to be invisible when he's out here. He doesn't like any attention brought to him, so the more I ignore him, the more he'll come out and play. The feral dogs here are at different stages. At the first stage... Now you can see Simon, who's trying to get away from you. He doesn't want you to see him. So he's doing typical feral dog. He's playing invisible. The next step is for the dog to get used to being hand-fed. Spend a lot of time doing this. Then the dog will be fed after he learns some commands. Then we do things as they get more comfortable and more further along in their rehab. We start working on basic things like sit, wait for their food. Once the feral dog gets used to this, they're ready to go into a structured feral foster home. Then we put them into our second phase foster, which is a lot less structure. After that, the dog is ready to be adopted. It takes a long time. You know, it's, it's for us, it's a good year minimum. Shaggy isn't there yet, but... It's starting to bark which is really good. Um, feral dogs don't want to bring any attention to them. They want to be invisible, so they rarely make any noise. Now, all it takes for him to go back to his home. Um, to get them back in their kennels, it's really easy. Kennel, kennel guys, kennels. You're fine, Dust. He has taken a liking to Melissa's daughter, and peanut butter helps. When I first met Shaggy, he simply ran away. Today, even I can hand feed them. You know, three, four months ago when Shaggy was wild, you couldn't do this, right? Well, had we known if we would just would have made him some peanut butter sandwiches, we might have been able to catch him back then. Why do this? Because um, somebody needs to. I mean, these dogs need to have a chance. They need the opportunity to learn about people. Um, I just, I feel everything needs to at least have a chance. And in six months to a year, Shaggy will be ready. You can see, like, when you put time into them, it's amazing. See how happy and excited they are. In Newport, Steve Zagman, WZZM 13 News. Never seen a training process like that. It's fantastic. Melissa says she will make sure Shaggy finds a loving home and in order to adopt a former feral dog, there is a lengthy application process to make sure the dogs get to the best home possible. It does take a special person to be able to rehabilitate those dogs and, like that. And to come up with that type of a process. I've never seen that. That's, That's wonderful. Fascinating. Davenport baseball plays host